All right, big man, you know, big, big win today. I got to say congratulations. But just tell us about uh, what you guys focus on this week as a defensive line uh, coming into this Willamette game. Um, as a defensive line, we put a new system in called BOA. And I guess for my position, it was mainly to contain, <laughs> contain the fly. And we obviously did that. And then they adapted to it. And, you know, <laughs> we just had to... I guess adapt back to what they were changing up. Yeah, it was a chess match, wasn't it? Yeah, big time chess match. Yeah. Well, I love uh, being a former D lineman. You know, talk to, I love talking to D linemen and finding you know, finding out the ins and outs of the D line. Tell me about about the core of D linemen uh, on this team. You know, do you have any characters? Is it a tight group? Do you guys hang out together? Just kind of give us a little insight. I think this year we're a lot more tighter. You know, because um, well, I feel like I'm tighter with the guys because I'm a returner. And um, everyone's pretty solid. Yeah, we got some good depth at the end spots and the tackles. And Nish is solid. And Ian, he's getting old, but he's hanging in there. And some freshman guys are stepping up, and you know they're just playing real hard. I think we got a good group. Right on. Well, you know, Sparky, this is your second year here at Linfield as a sophomore. Tell us what's the biggest difference between being a first-year Wildcat and a second-year Wildcat. Um, this year, I know the system a lot better, so I can play faster and not think and just play football. Right on. Is there anybody back home that you want to say hello to? Everybody. Everybody? Yep. All right. Hey, great job. Keep it up, and I'll see you in a few weeks. All right. Thanks. So, all right, Nate. Hey, so uh, what, what did you see on that uh, interception out there? Did you, did you have a feeling they were going to throw that deep ball? Tell, uh, tell me a little bit about what you saw. I actually, I didn't feel like they were going to throw it on my side. Um, they usually favor 85 because he's a tall guy. And uh, they're in the red zones. Well, I think they're in the red zone. So I thought they were going to him, but they threw it to my side and uh, just made a play. It, it was a high ball, so it, it wasn't too uh, hard. To right on. <laughs> well, hey, so let, let's talk about the, the biggest difference between uh, being a first-year Wildcat and a second-year Wildcat. I mean, how, how, how much are you, are you more comfortable, just more knowledgeable? Do you feel like you don't have to think as much? Just tell people what it's like, you know, between being a first-year college football player and a second-year college football player. It, it's totally different now. I understand the difference way more. It's a lot easier. You play faster, so you don't have to think, you know. So um, you just go out there, uh, make your reads, and you play faster. When, when I was a freshman, I really had to think of what about, like, think about what I'm doing. So play slower and... I don't know. We have a good group of guys, so they help me out whenever. All right, man, i got to ask you to ride out one of your, your fellow DBs here. Who's the biggest character out of the DB group? And tell us why. <laughs> who's, the, who's the biggest nutball out of the group? I'd say it would be Drew. Fisher? I think Drew. All right, well, why Fisher? I don't know. He's a clown, man. He, he always gets me rolling. I don't know. We, we, have, we have a quiet group. Like, all of us are quiet and pretty serious, but I think Fisher gets me going. He's, he's a funny guy. He's uh, the yin to your guys' yang? Yeah, I That's think so. He's uh, a cool guy, though. All right, anybody back home that you want to uh, say hello to or give a shout-out to? My mom and my sister. Uh, they're home. My dad's here, so just a shout-out to them. I love you. So, yeah. All right, hey, great job today. Continue it. Thank you.